Hi everyone, my name is Andrew and today we're going to do some welding with a purpose. Today we're going to make something to go into our 2 inch receiver hitch that will hold a chain. It will have both a grab hook to hold the chain in place and a clevis to anchor the chain or toe strap to. Before we get started, let me remind you that this is not a how to video. I won't be using this for anything where it would hurt anyone if it broke. Today we'll be using a wire feed welder, a chop saw, a drill press, a wire brush slag hammer, a grinder with a grinding wheel, a grinder with a cutting wheel, safety equipment, and a stick welder with 6011 and 6013 welding electrodes. So you don't need every single one of these tools to do this, but we have them available to us, so we might as well use them. First, we'll cut off a one foot section of two inch square tubing. This is what will go into the truck and what will mount everything to. Next we'll drill two holes. The first will be for the pin to hold it to the truck and the second will be to hold the clevis. Now we'll cut a cap out of 2 inch flat steel to go over the end of the tube. The cap will help the structure and make it look more professional in the end. Now we'll tack weld the cap in place and then weld it completely using 6013 rods in the stick welder. Then we'll knock the slag off, admire the welds and then grind them down. Now is the tricky part. I want to weld on this grab hook here, but the bottom is made to hook onto a chain, not to be welded. And they make special flat grab hooks for welding, but what's the fun in driving all the way to Plymouth to get one just for that? So with a grinder and a welder, we can cut off the bumps and then fill in the hole. I'll use the wire feed welder because it's quick and easy. Our hook is all ready to be welded into place. Keep in mind, I'm no expert stick welder, I really don't know what I'm doing, so please take everything I'm about to say with a grain of salt. So we have two types of electrodes with us. We got the 6011 and the 6013. So 6011's properties make it penetrate into the base metal very well, but it doesn't look as pretty um, unless you're really good with it. I'm not very good with it. And it's harder for me to control. And the 6013 doesn't penetrate nearly as aggressively, but I'm way more comfortable with it and it looks really good. So we'll do an initial pass with the 6011 to get it nice and strong, and then we'll run a couple passes of 6013 on top for, ad for added strength and to make it look good.
our hook is all welded up and I think if this comes off I'll be having bigger problems on my hand. We'll take the wire wheel to it and remove all the slag. Now we'll prime it and then paint it. Our clevis came in. The pin is larger than I expected. This is good, as it will just be that much stronger, but that means we need a bigger hole. So I don't have a big enough drill bit here to make the hole, so let's just make it bigger with the torch. we messed up the paint job so let's brush it down and try it again our project is complete so now let's install and test it As you can see, you can use it to grab the chain in one place or wrap the chain all the way around the clevis. Remember, please don't use this for anything where it would hurt someone if it broke. I'm confident in it, but I'm not confident enough to trust it with my life. And I hope you learned something today. And thanks for joining me, and please just come see me and let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.